anytime I'm in New York, one of the first things I do is get a bagel with lox. It is one of my absolute favorite things. So today we are going to make a great appetizer or light meal that's inspired by the great bagel and lox. We are going to do everything bagel and lox flatbread. So this is ultra easy and what I'm using today to help me get there is Pillsbury artisan pizza crust with whole grain. So all I'm gonna do to get started is just drizzle some olive oil onto a baking sheet and then we are just going to unroll this directly onto that baking sheet. So that olive oil is going to help us crisp up the bottom of this crust. And then it'll also help us kind of spread this guy out. And as it is, this is a perfect pizza crust, but what I'm going to do is just kind of stretch it out because we want something that's more akin to a flatbread. A little bit crispy on the edges, and then still a little bit chewy on the inside, just like a good bagel should be. Okay, now it is time for our everything bagel seasoning. This is just equal parts, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, onion flakes and garlic flakes, plus a pinch of salt. And then I like to just push it down to make sure it's not going anywhere. We are going into a nice hot oven today, 425 degrees until it's golden brown and crispy. All right, this is gorgeous. That onion and garlic gets good and toasty in the oven, and then you can see, hopefully I've gotten some good browning on the underside. And we've got this perfect flatbread, which is a great blank canvas for our bagel. So, we can't have a good bagel without cream cheese. I have a little bit of softened cream cheese here. I'm just gonna spread this on and use about three quarters of a brick of cream cheese, but I won't tell if you use the whole thing. And then we're just gonna cover this whole thing in cream cheese. And if you wanted to, you could even get fancy and put this in a piping bag and drizzle it on. All right, once you have a good layer of cream cheese on here, now we can put on all of our other bagel toppings. And this is just everything you would ever want on a smoked salmon bagel. So over here, I have some thinly sliced cucumber and I'm just gonna lay this out. You can just sprinkle this on haphazardly, but I'll lay them out like dealing cards. Just overlapping, nice and thin cucumber. Okay, cucumbers down, we're gonna get a little bit of shaved red onion, nice and thin and then sprinkle that over top. And then the next thing this gets is the star, our smoked salmon. It's somewhere between four and six ounces, so as much as you want, as much or as little as you want. And I just tear this up into little pieces and spread it out. It is good and salty, so I don't wanna coat the whole thing in smoked salmon. Just some bite-sized bits all across the top. All right, once you have your smoked salmon on here, I always like capers with my smoked salmon. Just that good salty brininess is a really good compliment against that salmon. So we'll just sprinkle some of these guys on top. And then I also love dill and salmon. That's just such a classic combination. So I have some good fresh dill and instead of chopping it, I just like to kind of tear up these little feathery leaves and then sprinkle it on here. I don't mind a big pop of dill, and I just think it looks so much prettier that way. Okay, now we've got our herb on there. Last thing we need is a good shot of fresh black pepper. And then one last thing I like to do is just a shot of lemon on top. This helps offset the saltiness, and I just think it's a really nice, bright touch at the end. So just a light drizzle of lemon juice and you are good to go. So from here, we can slice this into squares with a knife or a pizza cutter is really easy. But what I love about this is it's just so fresh and the result is so impressive for not a lot of work. So there you go, our everything bagel and lox flatbread using Pillsbury artisan pizza crust with whole grain.